Ooh, team keep it clean man I'm, I'm like it's it's really starting to hit me now um because we're gonna be up there for a training camp uh come thursday and friday then the ravens open practice on saturday and it, it really just really started to hit me today um so i'm super excited about that shout out to anybody that's gonna be going on thursday and friday and then of course uh on saturday it should be a, a whole lot of fun anyway um a little bit of that excitement was drained, but I was kind of weirded out today because I was wondering, like, man, how does this happen? H how is it that week one is, isn't for, like, it's, it's like a month and a half away. Week one is September 11th. That's a month and a half away. How do we already have a game status for one of the players? I Let me know if y'all have heard of this before. Because somebody, when I, when I put this on Twitter, I'm like, man, already? Somebody was like, well, you're not doing your job if you thought us that was going to start on week one. And I'm thinking, like, what? Like, let me, this is new to me, hearing a game status. Not a preseason game. Not a training camp stat. No, a game stat. Hearing that in week, I mean, hearing a game status for week one before training camp even begins, I have never, ever heard of anything like that. So this is brand new for me. But let's read what Jamison Hensley had to say. Um, said, as Ravens open training camp this week, running back Gus Edwards is considered questionable for week one, the season opener at the Jets. Edwards is coming back from a torn ACL that he suffered in September and kept that kept him out all of last season. And it's like, and, and I know, um, shout out to the NFL chick. Y'all know Reed. I got to get her back on real soon. Um, she said the streets were saying that apparently the, 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 the injury was a little bit worse than what we may have known it to be. Um, and yeah, that's what it seems like. But it's, it's like, and, and that makes the Corey Clement uh, signing, even though it already made sense. Like, it's like we, we got it yesterday. But with this news coming out today, it, it, it just continues to make even more sense. Ravens are staying ready, so they ain't got to get ready. Um, I was just talking about it to some of my guys a little bit ago. Uh, the difference between last, last year, the Ravens, they should have learned a lot of lessons from last year. Um, but we hope that, uh, with all the lessons that the Ravens learned last year, that they implement changes, they implement doing things differently. Like in the case of J.K. Dobbins and Gus Edwards, those two obviously aren't ready yet. J.K. is probably closer than Gus, but hey, we'll see. We won't know till we know until we see that report that one of them officially comes off the PUP. So that's when things will be officially official. But until then, we just got to wait it out. Um, but with that being said, uh, the Ravens, like last year, uh, they signed Devontae Freeman, Latavius Murray, Le'Veon Bell, more so the first two. They were signed like right before the season started. And we would always talk about, I, I know I would always talk about how you could put any running back back there and they will flourish because Lamar Jackson, he commands so much attention. Y'all already know. But last year, um, it, it proved otherwise. But then, again, there's context because, you know, the offensive line was <laughs> and all of those running backs, they never really had time uh, to get acclimated with the system. They had to learn as they went. They didn't have time to 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 practice because, I mean, not necessarily not to practice. They didn't have the training camp uh, where they got to really learn a system. They were like thrown in there and like, all right, hey, go try to make it work. But now the Ravens are um they, they ch handling business early instead of late because they could be like all right we we really hope jk dobbins and gus edwards are ready for week one we hope it we, we feel it in our hearts that they will be and if but the, if they acted just strictly with their hearts then that would not be a smart move that's why with them signing Corey clement them signing mike davis them drafting tyler Beatty, them still having justice hill them still having nate mccrary it's like okay good good because you want to definitely be as prepared as you possibly can be so that was something now um little side note it's nothing official but i just got a little bit scared and a little bit worried um
because I uh, I saw a report that said that Cole Beasley, um, that he uh, he's drawing interest from multiple teams and just waiting for the right opportunity. Uh, and that that worried me a bit because oof, I just I, I don't want Ravens to sign him. I, I do not think Ravens already got enough slot receivers. Uh, Cole Beasley would not <clears throat> move the needle for the Ravens. I know he can still play. He got hands, a good little route runner, good little inside receiver, but oh, no, just no. For me, at least, me personally, sorry. I just that was it with that. So, and I know a lot of other people they expressed their concerns as well. Um, but yeah, hopefully that. Yeah, Jameson Hensley, uh, he been on a roll today, just dropping little mini bomb after mini bomb after mini bomb. Um, he said that Lamar Jackson has been practicing the past three days with the rookies, and that's a good sign. Uh, of course, Lamar Jackson, he already came out and said he wouldn't hold out. Said he was gonna be there. Uh, Lamar Jackson, he, oh boy, him and his camp, they they are doing a lot of things the right way. Um, they are taking a lot of stuff in stride. Uh, and they, they have a lot to deal with, obviously, every single day is something new. Uh, but the way that they handle things um, is to be commended. The way that they take care of business, the way that they handle themselves, it's a beautiful thing. So, shout out to them. But said he'd been playing with the rookies or practicing with the rookies, I mean. And first thing I was thinking of was, yeah, y'all already know, man. The wide receiver, I was thinking of Slade Bowden. Kai Polk, Shamar Bridges, uh, Devin Johnson. I, I, I was just thinking of all of them. So, hey, and, and then there's the uh, the tight ends. To, well, at least one of the tight ends. They're saying that um, Charlie Collar, uh, the the tight end who's his game looks look when you watch him in college, it looks like you're watching Mark Andrews. But they said that he might be dealing with like a sports hernia. So we'll see about that. So he may miss. Some time in training camp, and that's tough because it is like Nick Boyle coming back from injury. Uh, Pat Ricard, he coming back from injury, but he's straight. It wasn't no like major injury, but Nick Boyle, he was coming back from major injury. Uh, well, he hadn't fully recovered from his previous major injury. Um, Isaiah Likely. Uh, we'll see. Hopefully with, with Charlie Collar. It, it'll be a nice smooth process Like if he had like a sports hernia surgery or whatnot, Whatever happens Hopefully it's a nice smooth process uh, And then he'd play some catch up He had to play some catch up But that's unfortunate Because you know like You know he was going to get used He's a tight end Hello uh, you know, Ra Ravens will feature those guys in their offenses Now one, th one, one last thing Because uh, Jameson Hensley literally just dropped this as we were recording um, David Ajabo he said Ravens old outside linebacker David Ajabo is officially a holdout. The set well, would it really be a holdout? Because he doesn't have a contract yet. So usually a holdout is somebody that holds out from practicing, playing because they want a new contract. I think. But anyway, maybe I got the definition wrong. But anyway, he said the second round pick has yet to sign a contract and did not report Tuesday. Ajabo is the only Ravens player not to re. Ort. So, um, with that being said, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sure they're, they're gonna work it out. They, they, they're gonna work out this deal. But it's crazy how uh, maybe the Ravens are like, "Hey, we trying to get, we trying to keep some of our guarantees because you hurt, man. You, you hurt. You're not even healthy. Yeah, we took you in the second round, but still, and maybe he like, hey, the, the, the guarantees y'all trying to keep from me, I want them all." I want them on. I ain't about to let y'all keep my guarantees away from me. I, but I, I don't know. I, I don't know what it's about. I, I don't. But anyway, mm, exciting week. We are here. Training camp is official. It's starting. They're reporting today, practicing tomorrow. And yeah, it's real now. It's real now. Um, like we talked about the other day, we have officially made it. We're here. Um, and let's just see how this thing goes, man. Let's see how this season goes with these Ravens. Um, let's see how it goes from the personnel and the players and stuff, the coaching staff, uh, just everything because it's, it's, 
in order to have a successful season, it takes so many different moving parts to be on the right track. So hopefully this can be a season where the Ravens do all move in one accord and they get the job done. So training camp is where everything starts, where everything begins, because that's where the competition heats up and it makes it official. Team Keep It Clean, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And just like Gus Edwards and J.K. Dobbins are for now, when Ronnie Stanley, uh, who else was out? And uh, Is it Nick Boyle too? I think it's Nick Boyle. I don't even remember. But just like all them people on the PUP list right now are, when it comes to being ready for training camp for now, I'm out.